What's up YouTube? It's Kyle here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back down on rock bottom making another gold prospecting video. Um, I've been testing out the King A52 Super Sluice with the rock classifier on it. The creek I'm at just does not have enough water flow. Uh, so I'm going to have to wait to use that. So today I finally took the rock classifier off. Um, I'm down here with Cameron. Cameron's upstream right now classifying some buckets so we could run some more material. But uh, we already have visible gold in the sluice box. I'll uh, take you down so you guys can see. I love how they put this huge indicator mat in here. But well, there's a couple pieces right here and a piece right here. Later we'll uh, I'll get some underwater shots so you guys can see it. But uh, anyways, let's go up to Cameron and uh, see where he's working. I forgot my hand dredge. We're gonna have to run back to the truck and get that because uh, we're in a pretty good spot. There's lead and gold, and uh, we're, we're actually in the water right now. But uh, we're finding gold, so that's good. What's up, Cameron? Yeah, the material I was digging here when we filled up these first two buckets, uh, full of hematite. Uh, it was really dark sands, looked perfect, ran it, and of course there was gold in it. So we're going to get a couple more buckets full, and uh, yeah, we're going to run it and show you how this sluice runs without the rock classifier. Yeah, that classifier, I think you can buy that on Arbor Fab Fabrications. It works perfect. All right, guys, we got a bucket of classified material. About to run it through the sluice. Nice and slow. Wait a second, Cameron. All right, here's the last of the bucket. Hey, you want to put it over here? And uh, I'll just slap water into it. There we go. Whoa! Just wait a second for the rest of that. <laughs> He's doing a pretty good job. I'm impressed with the mat up top. All right, I just had Cameron to go get the uh, hand dredge out of my truck. And I was scrolling through some comments earlier on my YouTube channel and a person asked me if I do this full time. Yeah, that'd be awesome if I was in a gold bearing state, you know. I've been down here about 800 times and I probably have, I don't know, less than $20 worth of gold. But who knows, might hit a huge vein one day in Missouri, but I doubt it. And uh, yeah, I just come, come out here and uh, prospect, do these videos just for fun, you know. Uh, I grew up in a creek, and uh, I mean, I still enjoy them. I wish I knew at a younger age there was gold in the creeks, but it is what it is. But I'm going to wait for Cameron to get back here, and uh, we'll start uh, getting some more material once he gets back with the hand dredge. Alrighty. I just wanted to show you the hole before I 
get this water all cloudy again. I see Cameron down there too. Coming back with the dredge. All right, we got the hand dredge. Let's get some of the good stuff. All right, we almost got a full bucket of classified material here. On the way back to the sluice, get more gold. All right, we're gonna feed her a little bit at a time. Let it clear out and then do the next shovel full. Dump her in. Keep it in the sluice. All right, let's get the bottom. Turn it back. All righty, let's let it clean up. I see some lead in here, so that's a good indication we're in the right spot. There's some visible gold in here still. Oh, there's a nice flake down here. All right, let's go get some more dirt. This is some nice purple. Alrighty, another bucket. Hopefully there's some good gold in this one. I found a uh, big uh, quartz brain in that hole. I'll have to show you guys once I get back over there. But uh, let's run this bucket real quick. Here we go. Go for it. Go 
just waiting on that nugget. <laughs> Here we go. I'd like a little bit more flow, but this is all right for now. We only have a couple more hours until we got to get out of here. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and run the rest of this bucket and we'll see what gold we pulled out of it. All right, there goes the last scoop of that bucket. And that looks pretty good. Little pieces of hematite, I see lead, I see gold. Not as much gold as I like to see. So I think what we're gonna do is go to yesterday's hole. We're gonna do a bucket there and uh, see if there's any gold left that we missed. Hopefully there is, but let's go check it out. Big rock. All right, guys, we're on bucket number five. This stuff looks like concrete in there. Let's go run it. Check out those purple lines of hematite. Very nice. All right, let's run it. I saw some lead. That's good. All right, that was bucket number five. On to the sixth. That's awesome. There's a school of minnows in my hole right now. <laughs> All right, guys, for the sixth bucket, uh, I'm gonna move these big rocks, get in between here, and uh, get all that material. We'll get a bucket of that. No. All right, we're good. <laughs> There's a bunch of him attack. Oh yeah, here's that quartz brain I was talking about. It's pretty cool looking. All right, guys. I see visible gold everywhere. We're uh, moving on to number six. Bucket number six. Going in.
Miner's moth looks fantastic. This is the last uh, bucket number six. I'll wait for this to clear out and see if there's any more visible gold. My uh, YouTube channel comments are blowing up at the moment. Got a comment from Giovanni Ducati. I've never seen anyone putting so much material into something. I can't really uh, open it. I have no service down here. I just get the notification and see the first part of your comment. But uh, this guy says, classify, classify, classify. You would have gotten a lot more and stop chalking down your sluice so much. Well, I was putting a bunch of material in it the other day with the rock classifier on it. I was just screwing around with it. I wasn't really being serious, but I mean, it worked, obviously. But today, we are classifying, 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 classifying. Um, <laughs> so, we will see how much gold we get today. But we have four more buckets to go. So let's get on it. Holy smokes! Look at all this purple! Who dare call me when I'm in the field? <laughs> Insubordinate and churlish. Mischievous and implorable. Got some quartz. Look at that. Classify, classify, classify. Might be on bedrock. All right, bucket number seven. There's quite a bit of dirt today. Here we go.
This is bucket number seven. Someone's gonna say that was way too much material. <laughs> All right, that's the last of bucket seven. Three more, we'll do a clean out. Bucket number eight. Well, half bucket. Getting late in the day. But, uh, yeah, I think we're gonna have a pretty good cleanup. Let's go put this through the sleeves. All right, uh, Cameron's working on the 10th bucket now. He's uh, finishing up that. And then we're gonna go ahead and uh, raise the sluice up with the legs and uh, go ahead and do a clean up, a clean out. And we'll see how much gold we got out of uh, 10 or so five gallon buckets. Stay tuned. All right, guys, I raised up the sluice. I gotta tell you, it uh, makes it a lot easier with these legs. You just uh, scoot up the front first, about four inches, and then the back, and then the front, and then the back again. You keep going until you're all the way up. I got about maybe two and a half inches on the bottom legs, and uh, yeah, maybe half an inch on the top. But anyways, we can take a look at this mat up here. There's a bunch of fine gold stuck up in here and a bunch of pieces up here as well. Here's the expanded metal. And as you can see, all that hematite up there. I see some gold in the corner up here. And then down here is just loaded. And all right, I'm gonna get a bucket at the end of this and uh, I'll have Cameron just uh, dump the other bucket right here full of water and we'll just clean it off. Then I'll take uh, these riffles off and then get the mats in there.
way easier than sticking the whole sluice in the bucket, I gotta tell you that. All right, we're probably good on that. Let me take these riffles off real quick. Did I do it time? Yeah, go ahead. All right. Here, I'll go ahead and do it one more time. I still got some stuff on here. Who knows what's on it, but there we go. I'm gonna take that off and this. Then I can get the mat in just like that. Look how easy that is. One more, just for good measure. This top mat. Oh man, Cameron, look at this. Look at all this gold up here still. Oh. Holy smokes. Make sure you wash that out real good. Freaking newbies. <laughs> Wait a second. All right, go ahead. Easy. Hopefully that went in the bucket. All right. Wash out this miner's moss really nice slack. <laughs> I'm scared now. I don't talk like that. off quite easy all right it's an all right amount nice little pan full right. there is a ton of black sand in here feels like it's 10 pounds. I'm almost down to the heavies. Just trying to get all those blinds off real quick. Check this out guys. This is all black sand and hematite. I'm gonna work it all the way down until I get to the gold. Look at that nice piece in there. It's scattered all over in here. There's another one hiding. It's all in here. Miner's Moss did a really good job. All right, guys, got all the gold in the snuffer bottle. Flip her upside down. There's a bunch of black sand here too, so bear with me. I gotta clean it out real quick. All right, I'm ready to reveal it. Whoa. Let me get to where you can see it. It's not bad at all. Oh. <sighs> Look at all that. Cool. Another Missouri cleanup. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this gold out of this black sand, and then we will take a close up look with the macro lens. 
All righty, we got a nice little pile of gold here. If you uh, are wondering what this guy is, this is my solar panel. I charge my GoPros with the sun. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna uh, take this little lens off and put her on the GoPro. All right, guys, there it is. Little pile of Missouri gold. Not as good as yesterday, but we did not get skunked. I'm not mad at all. Never mad when you're at the creek. But alrighty, I will uh, put this lens on my phone now and uh, I'll zoom in a little bit and I'll post those pictures at the end of the video. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and pack my gear up. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, don't forget, if you're not subscribed to my channel, uh, hit that subscribe button. I'm gonna do some giveaways and uh, I think I'm gonna plan a trip here soon to an actual gold bearing state. So that'll be pretty fun. And I gotta say this uh, Keen A52 Super Sluice worked a lot better without the rock classifier, obviously as you've seen today. But uh, yeah, Cameron, you have fun today? You got some gold? Yep, but uh, alrighty, I will see you guys on the next adventure.